Hey there, beautiful people. I know I've been out for a while, um, but I've had some personal things to deal with and I'm back. So this makeup tutorial is going to be on this look right here. And we're going to start off with applying this new Revlon Candid Concealer all over our eyelids and blending it in with the Beauty Blender. Um, I really like this concealer so far so good and I'm gonna dip into the colored rain safari palette which is a palette that I'm loving I feel that the eyeshadows are super creamy and so easy to blend and here what I'm just doing is I'm just really packing on the colors and I am blending out the edges as I go along I found that applying my eyeshadow this way has been working a lot better for me where I just pack on the shadow and then just blend it out as opposed to applying another shade and blending it out with that shade. I've just been working it this way and it's been really working for me. I'm loving how it blends out. It's very seamless and comes out very nice. So here I'm applying a deeper, darker brown shade and just in the crease so that I can deepen the crease area. And I'm using the same brush that I used to apply that orangey shade um, that I used as my transition shade. So here I am using a brush that I bought from Colored Rain, which I suppose is specifically for applying their shadows. And I must say that it really did pack on the eyeshadows on the lids very, very well. I did have to dip in um, maybe two or three times, but it cuts the crease pretty well. I didn't have to reapply concealer to clean my crease. Um, it actually did the job for me. And I love this shade it's um, like a like a silvery brownish shade almost very beautiful color I absolutely loved the way it turned out applied all over my lid and here I'm using the Tarte double take liner just to do my eyeliner now this same way that I always do it just a little bit on the thicker side and really big wing um, I love how it looks With the Smith, with the Smith, <laughs> with the Smith Cosmetics brush, um, I'm not sure what the name of the brush is, but it's a really small detail brush. I'm actually picking up that dark brown eyeshadow that I applied in my crease, and I am placing it right over the edges of my liner, and I am smoking it out. And I really wanted to smoke that out, and I think I really achieved it. And here I'm using the colored rain brush again and I'm using one of the lighter shimmer shades and just applying that to my inner eye shadow. I mean, I'm sorry, to my inner eye in a corner and a little bit halfway through the lid. And here with my beauty blender, I am applying the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Foundation. I love this foundation. It's really beautiful and I love how the beauty blender applies it and it's just a very fresh finish and again I go in with the Revlon candid concealer and I'm just applying that to my under eye to correct the under eye I do think that this shade is a little bit too light for me as when I apply it but after it's blended out, it looks pretty good. And there I am setting it with my RCMA translucent powder. Here I'm using this Morphe brush and I am applying the Chanel Soleil de Tan bronzer. 
with, and I think it's perfect with this brush because it doesn't apply too much product and the brush is small enough to fit into your contours without over blending it. With the shadow brush that comes in the Anastasia palettes, I am picking up the a darker brown shade in the Safari palette again, and I'm just applying that to my lower lash line. I am speaking to my mother on the phone, so please excuse me. Um, she called. We were having a very important conversation, and I just couldn't hang up. So here, I'm taking the double take liner again, and I'm just coloring my waterline with uh, black. I do have my eyebrows microbladed, but I do like to give it a little bit more oomph with the Anastasia Brow Wiz pencil. And this is the way I'm doing it. I'm just coloring in the outside of the eyebrow with the pencil. And then on the rest of the eyebrow, I just take kind of a, a colored brow gel and I just apply it to the front of the eyebrow. And I'm loving how that turns out. Um, to me, it looks really natural and I absolutely love my eyebrows. I'm so happy with the way they turned out with the um, microblading and I have to go back to do my retouch and that's coming up very, very soon. I do plan on doing a video about that. So as soon as I do my touch up, I shall. So lately I've been loving cream blushes and I am picking up this cream bl blush. I always have a problem saying that. Cream blush. <laughs> and I am picking up the same brush that I used to apply the bronzer and just applying this beautiful color onto my cheeks very lightly. Nothing too um, deep and intense. And here I am applying my highlighter. I'm using this Wet n Wild highlighter and I'm applying it with my favorite brush to apply highlighter, the Smith 112 brush. And I absolutely love how much highlighter it applies and I'm just applying it all over my face as you can see. Um, can't have too much highlighter. I love putting highlighter on my face. Putting some on my Cupid's bow. Here, these are the Lily Lashes that I got from my cousin. She gave them to me. I absolutely love these. They are so natural and they have a weird name, Jaya, Jaya. I'm not sure what it's called, but they're beautiful. And here I am taking the Kylie Cosmetics lipstick in boss I believe it is and I'm just outlining my lips with the liner that it comes with and later on I will apply the gloss and then on top of that I decided that it was a little bit too kind of pinkish for me um, so I applied Jordy over that and it gave me a more intense um, red color and I liked how that looked better so yeah that's it guys I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and I promise that I won't be out again for as long as I have been it's just a very hard job you guys know that I am a mom I have a full-time job and you know some things are just more important than others and but I promise again that I won't be out for as long as I was thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time bye hey guys it's me again please don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button so that you guys can be notified when I upload my videos don't forget to share with your friends and let them know about my channel so like that we can all learn how to do makeup together. See you guys next time.